Hello, this is Bike With Me 18, finding some public art within Shizening Barracks. We start this ride along the Strand, which um, viewers of this vlog will uh, know. And it's a starting point for many of my biking trips because it's sort of a meeting place, I guess. It also shows how the um, pandemic is sort of panning out in our town. There's a few more people around, but not many. Uh, we don't accept international tourists, so um, it's all rather still at the moment, but nevertheless. Um, we're heading up to a place called Kissing Point, and you'll see it eventually, I'll point it out to you. It's a sort of a hillock, and um, it's always been uh, a military base. It uh, occupies a very rocky headland, which separates Cleveland Bay and Rose Bay at the northern end of the Strand. By the way, the word kissing is Old English for settlement. Now we're coming up to some things which we're going to talk about artwork. And this is one of the first ones, Robbie Rowland's. It's called Light Falls. It's a repurposed light pole. And it reminds us of a um, palm tree being knocked down after a uh, cyclone. Now to the right of us is the uh, swimming pool and it had a sort of a uh, marine stinger net around it to protect because we get those sorts of things. And people walking down the middle of the road, which I just love. Now you can see as we go around here, there's a rise there. And that's the fault. And we'll be going to that in a moment. As we turn around here, you can see, and I'll just position the bike to show you the name of the place. And it was called Janine after a uh, town in Lebanon. Um, a battle against the French Vichy forces, you know, French Nazis during the Second World War. But now the whole site has been um, used for something else. It, to the right of us is a military um, museum. It's 15 hectares and I'm just slowing down here to show you some of the old billeting buildings. And normally these are all open to the public and, you know, it's always been a military site of some sort and you'll really see that later on in this. Now we're going down and this is um, a big area and it's right in the middle of the town so uh, it, it's been made into something very useful. Now this is Cook Street of course Cook Street being the famous Captain Cook who uh, did come past this part of the world and we're going to the first part where we start seeing some public art and it's um, of more the Aboriginal and Native arts and so you've got um, a stainless steel crocodile here by Henry and Wales, um, Doolan and Freya with that and these are more rocks that they've just put there for reconstruction of the site and there's that silly person that is making the video I thought you know and then again he noise the living daylights out of me never mind and uh, so we move up around the, the corner and this is one of my favorite um, because it's very simple and it's very symbolic of Aboriginal dot art and uh, that was um, Uh, Billy Doolan again and we're coming up to um, some rocks which sing they've been carved out and it's called Big Wind Coming by Stephen Newton and Shirley Collins and we're going over and it just, this is a, an artwork it's called Carly Kalinsky Fish Trap the Aboriginals built these and they go back tens of thousands of years. You know, it's a myth that Australian Aboriginals didn't build structures. Okay, we're going up this boardwalk. Now, this used to be a sandy beach once. It just shows you the soil erosion that's happening all along the east coast of Australia. And there's all those people, which I just love running into on my bike. Never mind. And it's going up. You can see, this is quite steep. And 
I had to stop here because somebody's doing repair work because they don't want people falling through. What a pity. Never mind. So we just keep on moving up and up and up. And so it's all very right fun if you want to come to this place eventually. There's all this you can sort of walk through. Now I really love this. This is um, a great big uh, granite sculpture and it's called Coming Together. And uh, I stopped there to get some pictures. There it is again. There was a council truck park right up against it. Thank you, council truck. Never mind. So what we're doing now is we're heading up towards the um, thing and there's one called Sentinel Soldiers by Amanda Freer and you're going to understand why that piece of artwork is there and there it is, there's the Kissing Point Fortress and as we move up into it you're going to see this is not something that was built recently like this is a hundred plus years old um, before Federation, Australia was under attack by the French, who wanted um, bits. They took New Caledonia and Vietnam and all that. Uh, the Germans took a piece of New Guinea. Uh, the Russians were about. And so were the Americans. The Americans just wanted gold. You know, Australia's gold played off um, Britain's um, Napoleonic War debt. And so thank you, um, all those people. Now you can see here, uh, flags, the American flag, uh, Australian flag, no British flag, because you know, the battalions here tend to be more um, American and uh, the Australian ones. Now they're not sighted here anymore, they're over near the university. And there's that person again, and he's photographing um, some very interesting thing. Now that's actually built down into the uh, hill. And yes, there's guns. There's very big guns. And they've been here a very long time. I don't think they're usable anymore. But this shows you um, this place has always been a place of um, defence. Uh, of course nowadays uh, we have a very good air force and so I don't think anyone would attack us. Um, it's been said that we could take out the Indonesian um, military in a very short time, even with us. Now there's a lot more artworks around here, but I just wanted to, uh, to show you how high up we are. This is still Castle Hill and you can see this makes an ideal viewing platform. So the rest of it, I'm just going to career down the um, pathways, which is always fun on the bike. And uh, there's no people around, or not very many. Um, normally this would have a lot more tourists around, so um, yes, that's just the way of the world at the moment. And we all hope that that sort of gets better next year now that vaccines are becoming more available. So we're heading back onto the uh, Strand and uh, I thought for the next video I would like to do something that's nearer home and I found uh, with a lot of interest that there was a, um, a river reclamation scheme and so that's where we'll be going because it's a lot easier and it's also very hot at the moment today um, this video was made on a day where it was 35 degrees and about 80% humidity. And yes, I got sunburned once again. Okay, so next one shouldn't be too long away and we'll do river restoration. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.